What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com, cracking a random box of Return to Ravnica. If you follow me on Facebook at, or Twitter at MTG Headquarters, you already know that I kind of had to sell off my, uh, my hoard of Return to Ravnica to uh, pay off some debts, but I have done so, and I was able to save two boxes, make sure I can still open them on the channel. So... Since the set is not new, uh, there's not a whole hell of a lot to talk about other than just getting right into it. We're looking for Shocklands, Foil Shocklands, Sphinx's Revelations, Foil Sphinx's Revelations, Deathrite Shamans. There is an absolute pile of $5 cards in Return to Ravnica. $5 to $10 cards. We want the $50 cards, but... I'm happy with a lot of different things. Got a bit of a mess going on down here. I better clean up before conspiracy. We have Oak Street Innkeeper. Rites of Reaping. Bazaar Cravad. And a Righteous Authority. 1-1 uh, one, one for each card in your hand. At the beginning of your upkeep, you can draw an extra card. Oh, and we have a Foil Centaur Healer. Very powerful card during Return to Ravnica draft. Not like win the game, but it was great. Civic Saber. Hellhole Flailer. Gobbling Ooze. And a rare. Detention Sphere. All right. Here we go. Starting with some sweet pulls. Uh, when enters the battlefield, you may exile target, non-land, permanent, not named, detention sphere, and all their permanents with the same name. Take that, pack rat. Oh, and we have another foil, and it's a rare, and it's a corpse jack menace. Yay! Uh, I'm not going to complain about a foil rare, but it is a promo, and it has no value. Very little, maybe. But I'm happy to, I'm happy to have it. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Um, and then any tokens, counters you put on it are doubled. All right. We have Security Blockade, Street Sweeper, Teleportal, and Chaos Imps, 6-5 Flyer with Unleash. The card I saw all the time in Return to Ravnica Draft. It's like the most common rare I... In the set. That's just opinion. All right. Slum Reaper. Blister Coil Weird. Treasure Find and our rare. Loxodon Smiter played in some standard decks. 4 4 was heavily played. I'm not sure how heavily it still is played. 4 4 for 3. It can't be countered. If a spell or ability uh, an opponent controls cause you to discard it, Put it on the battlefield instead. Just a just a great super value card. I mean, turn two fleece main lion and a turn three lockdown smiter seems pretty good. Or turn two voice of resurgence into lockdown smiter. Call of the confluence. Brush strider. V two Gazi guild mage. We're in Selesnia town here. And Havoc festival. Six drop players can't get live at the beginning of each player's upkeep. That player loses half his or her life rounded up. So it can't kill you, but it can take you all the way down to one. All right. Stab wound. Always like that. Just the fun of playing that card. Archweaver. Golgari key rune. Psychic Spiral and our rare Archeon of the Triumvirate, or as I always say, Triumvirati, whatever. Four or five flying. Uh, whenever it attacks, you may de detain two target non land permanents your opponent's control. Very strong card. Would be extremely strong in, in uh, just about any draft. Seven drop is too spendy for standard.
It dies to a common. <laughs> a lot of things do. All right, race course fury. Thought flare. Rakdos rage mutt. Chromatic lantern, very solid. Three mana tap to produce one mana of any color to your mana pool and tap, or lands you control can tap to do any color. And you can also tap this for land. So very powerful card. Quite a few packs in with no uh, shocky shocks. So, you know, that's uh, frowny. But it's early yet. Aqueous Steed. Arrest. Very good. Xanakiv Locust. And our rare is uh, weird, right? Oh, no, yeah. Niv Magus Elemental. 1 2 for 1. Exile an instant or sorcery spell you control. Put two 1 1 counters on Niv Magus Elemental. Oh, man. I still, you know, since I've come back, still nothing has beat Return to Ravnica drafting for me. Theros was fun, but I don't like it so much now with Nyx. I'm bored with it already, and I'm bored really early. This is really early for me to be bored with the format. Shrieking Affliction. Fencing Ace. Golgari Charm and our rare. Multicolored. Collective Blessing. Enchantment. Creatures of Control get plus three, plus three. I think there's a foil in here. And it's a land. Oh, <laughs> darn it. Foil lands are uh, misleading. I see a foil already in this one, but it's green. So I don't think there's anything. All right. Rakdos Kirun, ultimate price. Blood Fray Giant and a rare is a Blood Crypt. There we go. Red, black, shockland. Very happy to have it. And our foil is a Slitherhead. Very, oh, that is very close to, to fooling me to, to be a Deathrite Shaman, too. Forgot about Deathrite. Two foil rares in a box would be extremely rare. It's happened to me before, but I've opened a lot of boxes. Hellhole Foiler. Street Spasm. Judge is familiar. And a Planeswalker. Jace, Architect of Thought, non-Tom Cruise edition. Super happy to get this pull. Four drop for four. Everybody knows what Jace does. Protects himself, gives you card advantage, and you don't really ever have to ultimate him. I don't think. That's not his purpose. Sweet pull. Sweet. I think that's our first Mythic, and that's a really good one to get. I'd be happy with, uh, if we only got three Mythics and they were all Jace AOT, I'd be one happy son of a bee. Buster Squall. Skymark Rock, very good in draft. New Prop Guild Mage, very good in draft. And our rare is a Pithing Needle. All right, sideboard card. Uh, activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. So how are you guys? I'm back, I'm back to kind of like the old schedule now. I've got, I filmed, this week's been really exciting. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but I've already filmed my first uh, Real Life Enchantments video, and then I filmed my first Sealed Saturday in a really long time. So I think you guys are going to be pretty pumped this week. Minotaur Aggressor, Follow the Gavel, Brush Strider, and Precinct Captain. 2-2 First Strike. Whenever Precinct Captain deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 White Soldier cre Creature Token into play. I thought that card was pretty solid until Bermaz. And then I was like, say, what? Sorry, I was channeling uh, McQuax's nips there. Archweaver, Drag Mangler, Slime Molding, Corpse Jack Menace, 4 4 for 4. If you put a token on it. So it's uh, obviously very good with. Um, scavenge in this block. It's a super powerful card in draft. Especially like early. <laughs> you can plan around it. It's tough to beat. Phantom General. Thrill Kill Assassin. Rakdos Cackler. And our second mythic is Niv Mizzet Draco, Draco Genius. 5-5 five, five for uh, 8. 6. 5-5 five, five for 6. Flying. 
And you can pay one white, one blue, and it deals one damage to target creature or player. And that's pumpable. So he is, I mean, he is just overall really, really good and limited. Uh, some other formats, maybe not standard, obviously, but... Maybe he's played in EDH. Dragon Tribals. Gutter Snipe. Selesnia Charm. Dryad Militant. And Merc Mercurial Chemister. 2 3 for 5. Uh, you can, this is an extremely powerful card, too. Pay one, red, uh, 1 blue, tap it, draw 2 cards. Pay 1 red, tap it. Um, discard a card, and it deals damage equal to the converted mana cost to, uh, to target creature, equal to its mana cost. I read that totally messed up. Maybe I am dyslexic. Although I did look up at the microphone, and I kind of lose my spot, so. Only one Shockland so far, so the uh, Karametra is not being too nice to us. Racecourse Fury, Arrest, Zorius Justicar, Isperia, Supreme Judge, another Mythic, 6-4 for 6, Flying, whenever a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. Oh, we have a Foil, Tenement Crasher, okay finisher if you're playing Rakdos and Draft. Alright, Savage Surge. Lave Sky Knight, Golgari Charm, and Cyclonic Rift. There we go. Two drop, return target non land permanent, but you really want to overload it for seven and just return all theirs to their hand. That card is uh, very strong. Late game. Tavern Swindler, Rakdos Charm, Rogue's Passage. Yes, all right, Overgrown Tomb. It's not the only thing I want, I just, I'm excited about Shocklands. Uh, rebuilding my Shockland collection after having to sell them all, so I'm happy to see this. Black, green, 8-8 uh, elemental token. Um, and we have a foil dead reveler. All right, just five more Shocklands. <laughs> Return to Ravnica. All right. So how are you guys, how's your guys' summer coming along? Dark Revenant, Thought Flare, Golgari Decoy, very good in draft, and Amizium Mortars, here we go. You're getting a little bit of value here. Uh, four damage, or you can overload and deal four damage to all their creatures. Summer really hasn't started for me yet. Here in Wisconsin, it's finally warming up, but I had a road trip like two weeks ago, and I've been playing catch up like crazy. My house and yard is in varying degrees of disarray. So I haven't had much of a chance to get ready yet. But how about you guys? Especially those of you in um, school yet. Probably getting close to the end of the year. Sphere of Safety. Hover Barrier. Risen Sanctuary. And Deathrite Shaman. One drop for one, two. Everyone knows old Banny Deathrite. Um, pay one, tap, exile, target, insert, and sorcery card. Each opponent loses two life. Pay one green, tap, exile, target, creature card from a graveyard. You gain two life. Very strong card. I don't think it deserved to get banned, but I'm not an expert on that sort of thing. So, just doesn't seem that OP to me. I mean, it's very good, but there are lots of very good cards. Codex Shredder. Is it Charm? Oh, yes. Is it Staticaster and a Temple Garden? I saw the land right away. I knew it. All right. Green, white, shock land. We're in the... I think this is a, one of those classic Return to Ravnica boxes where the middle is like where all the good cards are. So we need to find another shock land before we run into the, the poop cycle. Rick's the Mighty Guild Mage. Tablet of the Guilds. Nivix, Guild Mage, and Counterflux. Two blue and a red. Counterflux can't be countered by spells or abilities. Counter target spell. So you can't counter my counter. And it has Overload. Which I'm assuming is fun in EDH. <laughs> Two 
two at a giant, maybe even. <laughs> Minotaur Aggressor. Zorius Kirun. New Prop Guild Mage. And a Desecration Demon. The star of uh, Mono Black for a while there. Four drop, six, six flyer. Their big beater finisher. And a foil Golgari key rune. Golgalicious. All right. Civic Saber, Slitherhead, Rakdos Rage Mutt, and Slaughter Games. Two and uh, one black, one red. Cannot be countered. Name a non-land card. Search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with that name. Exile them. Then that player shuffles their library. Pretty powerful. Pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. Get rid of those stupid pesky voice resurgences. All right. Goblin Rally, Skymark Rock, Bizarre Cravad, and a Search the City. Five drop, arguably one of the worst rares in recent history. Do, 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 do. All right. What do we have here? Aqua Steed. Is it Kirun? Syncopate. And Mana Bloom. Some people have speculated on this card for a while. Comes in the battlefield with X tokens and remove a charge counter. Add one mana of any color. Although I would probably say Mana Confluence is pretty good too for fixing. I know it's not the same thing as Mana Bloom. Because it's not also kind of ramp, but. Fairy Imposter. Golgari Kirun. Psychic Spiral. And Guild Feud. Alright, we're into the poop. We're into the poop, folks. Search the city, Mana Bloom, into Guild Feud. Fairly certain we're into the poop now. I wouldn't be surprised if. We have a few more packs of garbage here. Assassin Strike, Vandal Blast, Azorius Charm, Voltorig. Four drop, four four trampler. It's a fun card in draft. Uh, whenever it is dealt damage, flip a coin. If you lose it, sacrifice it. And whenever it dies, flip a coin. If you lose, deals four damage to each creature and each player. I've more often wanted it to die. <laughs> than relied on it to win. I don't know what that means about my gameplay. <laughs> All right. Slum Reaper. Selesnia Charm. Golgari Charm. Wayfaring Temple. Star Star, number of creatures. Three drop every time it deals damage. Uh, combat damage to a player. Populate. That might be kind of fun, like a kitchen table with uh, Armadillo Cloak or whatever the new one is. I forget what it's called. Uh, I can't think of it. You guys know what I'm talking about. 2-2 two -two and lifelink one. Or 2-2 two -two and trample and lifelink. All right. <laughs> Skyline Predator. Golgari Kirun. Azorius and Jessicar. And Carnival Hellseed. I think I predicted the uh, poop, the murderer's row of poop, pretty effectively. Let's finish off with one Sphinx's Revelation and one Shockland. How about that? That'd be a solid finish. Sphere of Safety, Assassin Strike, Teleportal, and Underworld Connections. Okay, solid card. Again, was a star in. It well, is still an important part of Mono Black Devotion. Chant land, pay one life, draw a card. So I uh, opened a TCG player store, and the entire thing sold out in one day. So I have to wait till I get some feedback, and then I'm going to put more items on there. Right now, I can only list like 10 at a time. But once that's up and running, 
Just watch my Facebook or Twitter for the, the link. Street Sweeper, because I'll sell most of these. Dried Militant. And Azorius Illocators. 3-5 filibuster tokening fun card and drafter sealed. Definitely a fun card and drafter sealed. La 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 Bluster Squall. Pyro Convergence. Corrose the Guild Mage. And Sphinx of the Chimes. Six drop, five six, big ass flyer. We have a dragon token, and I thought I saw foil back there. Oh yeah, there it is. A foil void wielder. Why am I putting those in the rare pile? All right, two packs left. I'm calling at least one. I'm calling one shock land. Come on. One shock land. Heroes reunion. Street Spasm, Rakdos Ringleader, and a Death Presence. We're still in Poop Town. We're still in, we're still in the, uh, we're still floating down Poop River. Last pack. So if you're new to the channel, and if you are, I'm glad to have you. Please take a, a moment just to subscribe. And uh, if you're not new to the channel, or if you are, uh, I'd love to chat with you in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, crush that thumbs up button right below the video. It helps spur me on. It helps new people find the channel. I know you guys hate that I say that, but I always want to just remind people. Soul Tithe. Selesnya Kirun. Judge is Familiar. Palisade Giant. Six drop, two seven. All damage will be dealt to you. Or another permanent you control instead is, is instead dealt to Palisade Giant. Uh... Probably a mediocre box there. I mean, we did get some of the some of the big hits. Um, I'm gonna just pull the mythics out here quick. We didn't get much in the way of mythics. I and mean, we got a planeswalker, obviously. I think we only got three. Yeah, it's a pretty light box for us. So we got Jace, Architect of Thought, Niv Mizzet. Asperia, Palisade Giant, Death's Presence. I'm just going to kind of go through. I'm not going to read every one of them off. You can see. Death's Christian Demons, Notable, Temple Garden, Death Right Shaman, Mizio Mortars, Overgrown Tomb. They're all notable. Blood Crypt. Any Shacklands now. Chromatic Lantern are all good. Locks it on Smiter. Detention Sphere. Overall, pretty mediocre box, but. Uh, that's how you know when you get a good box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.